describe behavior in a human or in a rat or in a pigeon in that kind of language. Nothing uh, in the head. This was a dominant school in psychology. It was starting to fade in the 1970s when I was a, an undergraduate, partly as a result of a withering attack by the linguist Noam Chomsky in the late 1950s, where he pointed out, among other things, that uh, people really aren't rewarded for uh, everything that they do. There isn't any food dispenser in the sky that gives us a little uh, raisin every time we do something. And also the idea that all organisms are interchangeable is clearly false in the case of human language. You have a human child, you have a cat in the same uh, environment, exposed to the same stimuli, no matter what you do to the cat, it's not gonna end up speaking, whereas the child will. Chomsky's critique led to what is known as the cognitive revolution, starting in the late 1950s, gathering steam through the 1970s, where uh, the whole idea of mental life was scientifically rehabilitated. 